do us like Jesus. Nobody can do us like the Lord. And he's worthy of all the praise. As we turn this part of the service, we put our hands to God. Come on and give him another praise. Hallelujah. He's been that good. He's just Give honor to God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. John Castor, the Elder Alvin Hamilton, Apostle Michael Smith in his absence, and Mr. West in his absence, Pastor Favors, the Elder Roundtree, each of you, praise God, our visitors. You welcome to praise the Lord with us. Hallelujah. But that's why we're here to give him praise, to give him glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now it's time for our pastor, the elder out of Hampton. Give the Lord glory and pray.
got to go. Amen. Thank you, Sister Darius, for singing. Amen. Praise God. Let's bow our heads and pray. Father, in Jesus' name, your word says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed, because, amen, his compassion faileth not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, for this another day that you've given us, the first day of the week. Oh, but our day of worship, to give you glory, to assemble ourselves together. And, oh, God, to offer up praise and thanksgiving. And now, Lord, to offer up the word and offer it out to your people. In the name of Jesus, we believe you, Lord, to bless your people. Today is the word come forth, and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, let's say amen. You may have your seats as you give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Please get your Bible. If you have a Bible, please get your Bible. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's turn to Acts, the third chapter. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank God for such a beautiful day that the Lord has given us. Praise God. Amen. Amen. If you have it, say amen. Acts, the third chapter. We shall begin reading. We're going to read verses 1 through 6. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an arm. And Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Amen. And he took him, verse 7, by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and anchor bone received strength. Say amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. For a study today, what do you have to give for the work of the Lord? Praise God. Praise God. Amen. We're living in a day and time now. People think money is everything. Can I get some amen? amen? Praise the Lord. Amen. I had someone that called me on a Sunday afternoon. I don't know where it's been, about maybe three, four Sundays ago. And they told me where they were calling from, where they said they were coming from, the publishing house. You heard of that? Amen. And they said, praise God, you have just won $50 million yeah. and a brand new BMW. I said, well, I need to go talk to my lawyer about it. Let me talk to my lawyer about it. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. And he said, but ma'am, think about other things. He wanted to get my mind, not focused on him, but focused on the money. Amen. And he said to me, he said, I will meet you at Walgreens. So Brother Derry it had to be somebody knew about we had a Walgreens here in Woods. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. And so... I said, well, I have to bring my lawyer with me. Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't want to hear that. He said, but ma'am, but ma'am, just think about 50. He didn't say 50,000. He said 50 million dollars. And a brand new BMW. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> what do you say, bro? He don't even have it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. And so, you know what? I told him. I said, that's all right. That's all right. Praise God. He was kind of silent. Praise God. Amen. But you, the Bible said, be wise as a servant. But harmless as a dove. Amen. Say amen. amen. Praise God. And then the enemy tried to put that in my mind to make me think, what did you do? Fifty million dollars. What could I do if somebody come to kill me? Amen. 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 Praise God. I have no idea who it was. Amen. Praise God. How did they get my phone number? I don't know. How did 
anybody know who, know who I am? I don't know. Say amen. amen. But praise God, amen. Here in the word it says, what do you give for the work of the Lord? Amen. Praise God. And it said, now, Peter and John went up together. Not only were they, stand up, brother, like, like side by side and you're walking. But together, they were together in the spirit. Amen. With one mind. Amen. And if we're going to get a work done, we've got to work together. Yes. Whatever you're going to do, Elder Roundtree, when you go out in the street to witness, the people with you, y'all got to be what? Together. Amen. Amen. One can change the thousands. Yes. And two can put 10,000 10, to a fire. Yes. Say amen. Yes. Praise God. But see, the thing about him, this is what we were taught in the beginning of this ministry back in the year by Apostle Washington. Praise God. When you go out to witness, everybody don't talk. Amen. 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 One speak and say whatever to be said to witness. And the other stand back quietly and pray. Amen. So here is an example in the word. It says, uh, it says, now let pay attention to the scripture. Now Peter and John, the two brothers, amen, in the Lord, went up together. And I'm not talking about just like I said, Pastor Thing, we stand side by side, but in the spirit, amen. in unity, in love, on one accord. Amen. And they were on their way to the temple for the hour of the ninth hour of prayer. Amen. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb. Now this, here he is, a grown man. But as his mother carried him in her stomach, Sister Vanessa, he was lame. When he was born, he was born lame. But can you imagine? She didn't throw him away. Amen. She kept, that was her baby. Amen. Lame to come out, but it was her baby. Amen. Amen, praise God. And it says here, and a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried. He had to be carried. He couldn't walk. Amen. Whom they laid daily. That meant every day they brought him to the temple. Amen. Like the church here. And see, people like to bring people out by the church because they know different people are going to be going in. And they believe when you see somebody destitute in need, you're going to help them. Amen. You give, uh, somebody can be standing right out there at the, the driveway of the entrance of the church to think that maybe somebody will help them. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And it says, And a certain man laying from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily. That means seven days a week yes. he was laid at the gate called Beautiful at the church. Amen. He said, At the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful to ask on, and he was asking. Most times when people ask of on, they don't ask for no clothes, Deacon Mel. Amen. No shoes, they ask asking for money. Amen. Praise God, amen. And, amen, praise God, and it said, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. He was right. asking each one that came into the temple, which is on earth, that we call the church. Right. Who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple asking on? They saw the, the man, that, the lame man saw these two brothers and they were about to go in. Pray they asked them for arm. And see, you see here in the word, on, there's only one spokesman. Both of them don't talk. Amen. It's confusing when two people are trying. If it's a husband and wife and they're going to take care of business, one still got to be quiet amen. and let the other one speak out. Amen. Say amen. Because all their talking, they should have done it at home. Before they got to the business, God, is that right? And not say, well, wait, 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 honey, let me tell you. But sir, honey, wait, 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 let me, you heard me say, wait, let me tell you. And see, that's confusing. Praise God. So here it is in the Word. Peter and John said, fast, both of them looked on the lame man. Praise God. Said Peter, finding, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, look on us. Now who's saying look on us? Peter. Peter is a spokesman. John, and history said that Peter was a more outspoken person anyway. Amen. Now, no, let, let me tell you, you get ready to go out with somebody that loved to talk, amen, love to have the first and the last saying, you might as well get ready and just be prepared. You just be quiet. Amen. 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 And Peter was, was the more outspoken one, and John was the one that was more retired and more lame, but he didn't have much to say anyway. And that was a good partner for Peter since he loved to talk. I don't hear nothing. 
You say, man, I, you had read that for this. I, I studied my word. I studied. You don't know what I'm saying. Believe me, I'm saying the truth to you. So you can say amen to me. Yeah, but you don't have to say amen to Peter. Hey, you don't have to say amen to John. You can say it to Pastor Hamilton. Say amen. So it says, and Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John, said, look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. This lame man, though he were lame, but he was in expectancy. Amen. Praise God. And then Peter said, silver and gold. Can you imagine Peter perceiving what he wanted? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Silver and gold have I none. Or I don't have any money. Amen. But such as I have, give I thee in the name of Jesus yeah. Christ of Nazareth. And he said what? Rise up and walk. Amen. Praise God. And my subject today is what you have to give for the work of the Lord. Amen. Some people think if they don't have no money, they think they have nothing to offer. Amen. But if you've got money and know Jesus, you still don't have much to offer. Amen. Say amen. Praise God. And it was better for the lame man. The Bible says in uh, Acts the fourth chapter, praise God, in verse 22, it says, for of the man was about 40 years old. He was about 40 years old on whom the miracle of healing was shown. Praise God. So think about that. Somebody had to carry him around for 40 years. Oh, As the mother was praying to carry him, she had to carry him around, held around in her stomach, no doubt, for nine months. Amen. And then another 40 years. And I don't know whether he was your son. Praise God. I don't know what he was thinking. Mel was signed. A brother Derek could have been your son. Praise God. But I'm wondering, did they, by 40 years old, surely they must have had some way uh, 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 to carry him a wheelchair or something. Wouldn't you like to think so? You wouldn't have to carry him every day for 40 years. Praise God. Amen. But placing him there, waiting on something. And they call him arms. Other words, waiting on some help, some support. Praise God. I never heard people say myself, I would I refuse to get in contact with the man who said to me, Amen, that, I, that he had fifty million dollars for me. No, I didn't want to go into his his praise God uh, attack for me. Say amen. Because I believe it was more than just heal me. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And if you live the way you're living or whatever you got right now, if you're living like that, why can't you be happy and keep living? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, who was that? Somebody said they were thinking about paying off all the charge. Uh, who was that? Who, who? Deacon Farmer? Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Well, praise God. Amen. If you're in a lot of debt, it's good to try to pay off if you can. Amen. Uh, either keep paying on. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Amen. But this man, being lame, he was still asking for money. And he was laid dead at the gate called Beautiful. But every day he had the same conversation. No doubt, can you help me? Can you give me? Amen. Can you help me a little bit? Praise God. I was at the tax office and I had told you this sometime back. Amen. I went to pay my tax. Praise God. And what happened right downtown on Nash Street. And when I came out, there was a man sitting on the step. Looked like he might be a 60-something. Praise God. Amen. And he asked, he said, could you help me? Hey, you got any change? Praise God. See, when a person doesn't have nothing, I was always told you can't be charged. So what I gave him, we are. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. I said, well, at least maybe he can get him a girl. <laughs> or something. Get him some free fries. My mother said, if you're hungry, you shouldn't be charged. Amen. Praise God. Is that right? Amen. If you're hungry. Amen. If you're hungry. Amen. Say amen. Praise God. Not that you just want something. Uh, you might be greedy, but if you're really hungry, and how, what, how do you know when you're hungry? Something happened to your stomach. Mm -hmm. Your intestine, they call it talking. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. They call it talking to your backbone. Yes. Praise God. You get kind of ill. Some people get kind of ill. So they get kind of ill and all. They want something to eat. Praise God. What? Amen. Come in the home. You have, uh, no, they don't say you have a cookie. You ain't eat yet. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. But here, this man, he had the same conversation every day. Praise God. And most likely they were, had brought him there from the time he was of age that he could be laid there. Now, I would expect them to have brought him there as a baby. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And so it says, praise God, and Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John, said, look on us. Amen. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. He 
was looking for something from them. Them means <coughs> both of them. Not just one, but both of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, praise God, give I thee, I'm going to give you just what I got. And sometimes you don't know a person needs what you got. Amen. Sometimes the people may think they need this and that, but it might be just what you have. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So he said, but such as I have, give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ. And now rise up and walk. Amen. Money wasn't talking, but faith was talking. Hallelujah. And he took him by that right hand. Give me your right hand. Amen. Took him by the right hand. Let me suppose to be there. And he took him by the right hand. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And what he said. Amen. And, and lifted him up in a meeting. I'll take him by the right hand. Is your right hand? Lift him up. And immediately he began to walk. Amen. Amen. And so how do you leave? How do you leave? All right. He won't just walk. You know, walking, you're doing like this. Is that right? But the words that he would leave. All right, praise God. And but what happened? What happened? He didn't go back home. That's the good part. He followed them on into the temple where they were going to pray. Say amen. Praise the Lord. But you know, the neighbors and all have been seeing this lame man there probably over the number of years, those that lived in the neighborhood. And so, praise God, maybe they had not, he'd been there so long, coming every day, they weren't paying him any attention. Oh, you know, that's just the lame man there. But now, now, something has happened. Something has taken place. Saying that he took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and anchor bones received strength. Say amen. Faith is talking now. Praise the Lord. Amen. And he leaped and up stood and walked. I said, walk, brother. Get up and walk that brother. Walk and we praise God. Amen. All right. Leap, leap up and walk. All right. Come back this way. And in it with them into the temple, walking and leaping. Now he's walking and leaping. Walk. All right. All right. And it got the attention of the people. Praise the Lord. Amen. And not only was he doing it, another thing that we don't do it enough, praising God. Amen. Amen. Now most likely when he sat there at the gate, he was what the word say. He was just asking. Asking for some money. And I believe probably some people did give him something. But it doesn't say what he said or how he replied back to them. But now he's walking, he's leaping, and he's praising God. I will shout hallelujah, Doreen. Hallelujah! Hey, think about how you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah! God. He, was, he knew who to give glory to. Hallelujah is the highest prayer that you can give God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. Yeah. The neighbors that looked around, well, maybe they didn't probably pay attention to him at the gate because he'd been there so long. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. And they knew that it was he which sat for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder. I wonder what's going on? What's happening to the lame man? And amazement at that which had happened unto him. And the lame man which was healed held Peter and John. Praise God. All the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon, greatly wondered. Now you gotta know, you gotta understand. How do you feel when you just got delivered? See, amen, praise God. This is Acts 3, but praise God back in what? Acts 2? Praise God, amen. Where Peter was with the 120 in the upper room. And he had gotten filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Praise God. And he didn't have to sing. It's like fire that stood up in my bones. But it's like fire coming out of my bones. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. You can't be shut up. It's going to come out. Amen. Praise God. Amen. If it, were, if it didn't come out, the man wouldn't have got healed. Say amen. Praise the Lord. And what happened? Praise God. Amen. After On the day of Pentecost when the others came around and they were wondering what was going on. They heard the 120 praising and glorifying God in Acts the second chapter, giving God praise, speaking in other tongues. The Spirit of God had given them utterance, praise. And so what happened? Peter got excited. 
See, Peter was an outborn person. And see, when you go out, you get out there among those sons and all, you got to get out. Yeah. Praise God. On my way to church, I was telling a Thomas and his two friends, I said, now, in church now, and praise God, I told them, don't be on the phone. Amen. See, I have to teach them. Say amen, praise God. And I told them, amen, amen. Other words, Titus had already told them what to say when it comes to children church. <laughs> Sister Manasseh, your little Titus in the morning, what to say, because they said they didn't know what to say. So Titus is telling them how to just thank the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So thank them. They did. They had something to say, didn't they? Say amen, praise God. Amen. So what happened, praise God, amen, with this lame man, he was so overjoyed. He didn't think about going back home to tell his mom. Mm -hmm. Praise no need. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So what he did, he went on and fought the men of God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Into the temple. And they didn't just go in. Some people walk in, they so quiet, you don't even know they're here. Yeah. They went in leaping and praising God. So not only did the people on the outside that lived in the neighborhood get stirred up, the people in the church, they can do something with that. Hallelujah. Going on. Take note. Take note. All these people that were in the church, they already passed through. Yes. So they amen. Come, to come in the church, they had to walk. Come in the gate called beautiful. And the, the lame man was laid at the gate called beautiful. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So therefore, amen, they had to know it was him. Praise God. And the neighbors got curious and they began to wonder what happened, what has taken place. They realized something has happened. And praise God, we need to get so stirred up to the people over there in the trailer court will come over here and see what's going on. Say amen. Praise God. Amen. They went, I know it's somebody got a fence up there. Yeah, there's a fence out there, but there's a, a dead end up here to the corner. And they all walk and come around. Wouldn't that be wonderful, brothers? Praise God. And the people from the trailer court say, we heard y'all praising God. So we decided to come in and see what's happening. They be all right there with our Say amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. And it says, praise God, and, and in verse, verse 9, 3 and 9, and all the people, not some of the people, it says all the people saw him walking and praising God. Amen. We don't praise God enough when God blessed us. Amen. God does things for us. We don't give him enough praise. Amen. We haven't given him enough praise yet. Amen. Say amen. Give him a little bit, you know. Amen. amen. And then, praise God, the council stand with got to tell him. Go ahead, praise God. Go ahead, praise God. But if you really, really got the bad guy, they don't have to tell you, go ahead. Amen. Amen. You got to pray. You got to pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So, praise God. It says, and they knew that it was he, praise God, amen, which sat for arms at the beautiful gate. They knew it was him. Amen. Because they had to pass right by him to come into the temple. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And they were filled with wonder and amazement. Amen at that which had happened unto him. Amen. And as the lame man which was healed held Peter, uh, he was looking at Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon, Great the Wonder. Now, even when you're out there in the street and you're witnessing and people, other people got start coming up and gathering around, you got, you got to know where to go from one level to the next level. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Now, that, now listen, look at this. The lame man already got his healing. Yes. He's already leaping, so he's walking. Amen. He's got strength to his feet and his ankle bone. Amen. Say, he's no longer lame. Amen. And when Peter saw it, he asked unto the people. Now all these people, next step in line is this. He's got to minister to those people Amen. that have come up around him. He can't let those souls just go and get away because they heard the lame man leaping and praising God. And that's what drew them to the church. Yes. Say amen. Because if it hadn't drawn them, they would have already been there in church. Amen. Say amen. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people. Ye men! He began to preach his second sermon. Amen. When was his first sermon? Amen. After he was filled with the Holy Ghost in Acts the second chapter. Amen. And when the people came around, praise God, and, and Acts 2, 2 and 14 said, But Peter standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, He began to preach to the people that came up. But they came up, otherwise you say to spy out ah, what is going on. Amen. These yeah. people in the upper room, they've been here all night. And yeah, praise yeah. God, just the third hour in the morning. And they are here still praising God and speaking in tongues. But Peter said, can you imagine? Let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. Pray. He began to preach the word of God. His first sermon after he received the Holy Ghost. But here, here comes another crowd of people. And he begins to preach to them. Praise God. Amen. He gives them, this is Peter's second sermon. Whatever you have, whatever's in you, witnessing, preaching, praying, you got to let it out. Yes. You got to give it, singing, you got to give it out 
with all your heart. Amen. The works of God cannot stay crammed up in you and you say nothing. Amen. How can you come to church testimony, sir, and you don't say nothing? Amen. What do you come for? Amen. Say amen. amen. Praise God. Well, not every time we got our work cut out for us. Say amen. Every rich and know if I'm here and she's here. If I'm not here, she knows she got something. I got something. Praise God. But what about you sitting in the audience? Praise God. Why is that you don't get up and give your testimony? Why you keep sitting on them? Why are you going to wait till the devil keep you to the curb and then you start trying to say something? Jesus. Say amen. amen. Don't think the devil is looking at you. And he's seeing. He knows those that are really delivered, really on fire for God, and those that look wrong. Amen. The Bible says in the Revelation, look wrong, he'll do what? Spirit. Yeah. Spirit. Amen. But amen, but the lame man didn't do that. He was rose up with gladness, yeah, with joy. Yes. After being lame for 40 some years, he had a praise down in him. Then he had to give it up. Yes. 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 How'd that song go down, Reese? You gotta praise. praise. I gotta praise and I gotta let it out. You gotta let it out. You gotta give it up. Say amen. amen. Praise God. 40 years, he had, maybe the praise had been bubbling up in him. Yes, amen. 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 But he was yet believing it. he was going to get help. And he was asking for help. But Peter had just what he needed. Say amen. John standing with him. Say amen. Amen. Praise God. And and verse 12 says, And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, the people that came around, the men of Israel, why marvel you at this? Or why look you so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk? Otherwise, I'm not going to let you give me the glory. Amen. I spoke the word of God, but I didn't hear it. Amen. Amen. I didn't make it through this people. It was the power in Peter. Amen. It was the anointing in Peter. Amen. Praise God. Amen. As though by our own power. He said, Amen. Praise God. Uh, uh, it says, Why marvel you? Verse 12. Uh, Acts 3 and 12. Why marvel you at this? Or why look you so earnestly on us? Why are you looking at us? He's talking about himself and John. As though by our own power, our holiness, we had made this man to walk. I say, Peter made him walk. Peter said, no, I'm not going to let you give me this kind of glory. I'm not going to let you give me the praise. And sometimes people are looking for praise. They like to. But the word of God tells them, uh, uh, Pastor Fay, return to Acts, uh, 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 John 15 and 5. Quickly, quickly turn that 15 and 5. Praise God, amen. Thank you, Lord. John 15 and 5. Read it. I am the vine, mm-hmm. ye are the branches. Mm-hmm. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. With him much. Without him nothing. Amen. Say amen. amen. Praise God. So therefore, praise God. Amen. Peter, he's the people around him. The people have come from the neighborhood. They see that the lame man is no longer at the beautiful gate. They wonder, where is he? Sometimes, well, there he is, he's going in the church. He's walking. Praise him. Let me go see. Let me go see. But they wanted to give Peter the glory to make it look like Peter had done a wonderful act. But other words, Peter said, no, sir. Not living, not dead. You're not giving me this glory. Say amen. Praise God. Amen. The God of heaven has given it to him. And verse 12 says, when Peter started, he answered unto the people. You men of Israel, why mom ye at this? And our uh, why look you so earnestly on us? Why are you looking at us? To look at them, look up. Amen. Jesus is up. Yes. He comes down from the heaven. Yes. And though by our own power or holy, we have made this man to walk. Other than he's not going to let them give them the glory for causing the man to walk. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob. The God of our Father hath glorified his son Jesus when he delivered up and denied him in the presence of power when he was determined to let him go. Say amen. amen. Praise God. Let's look at John again. St. John 14. Praise God. 14. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He's telling them the God of heaven, the God of glory. Praise God. Amen. Let's read. Praise the Lord. Uh, Pastor Faber, read verse 12, 13, and 14. Read. John 14 and 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believed on me, 
The works that I do shall he do also. Jesus is talking. All right. And greater works than these shall he do. He said greater works than these. Why are we saying that? Because Jesus' ministry on earth was limited. Amen. But praise God. Amen. These are disciples. Praise God. They can go into all the world and preach the gospel. But Jesus knew his ministry on earth was short because he had to go back to his foster. Amen. Say amen. I can't stay with you long. I came to show myself and let you know I'm not dead. I'm yet alive. Amen. He said, destroy this body. In three days, I'll raise it up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, he was destroyed. He was beaten. He hanged on the cross of Calvary, and he died. Praise God. But early, praise God, he was, he was crucified. And praise God. But early on that Sunday morning, the women, thank God for smart women. They got up and Amen. they went to investigate at the tomb and see, did he really rise? Like he said it would. Pray, but they took some, some myrrh and, and some uh, uh, ointment and all that there to anoint his body. Praise God. But when they got there, they didn't see Jesus. Where was he? Where was he? Amen. Praise God. But they saw an angel there. They said, in other words, they began to talk to him and let them know he's not here. He's risen as he said. Praise God. Amen. And so what happened? They go and tell his disciples to meet him in Galilee. Say amen. Praise God. So what happened? After Jesus rose from the grave, he gave the woman the first message to go tell the men. To meet him in Galilee. Say amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. But then, I mean, he charged them. He spoke with them. For others saw that he had risen. Praise God. Amen. But he's on his way back to glory. Amen. Say amen. Read verse 13, brother. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And I hear, praise I see God is being glorified in Acts 3. Uh, praise God, amen. Peter, amen, speaking to the lame man and telling him, praise God, look on us. Praise God, seven go have I none but such as I have. Give I to thee in the name of the Lord. And so what happened? He's giving glory to God. And that's what God is asking him. Amen. Whatsoever you should ask in my name. When you pray, you got to ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That, and he said, then I will do it. I'll do it. And then when you do that, and, and, and Jesus works, the Father is what? Glorified in the Son. Amen. Praise God. Verse 14, Pastor. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. you got to believe it. Amen. 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 you got to do it. you got to have Amen. faith. Believe yes. God said anything. Amen. Anything. Amen. 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 Anything. Amen. All over this world, ask anything. Amen. Listen, now I'll do it. Ask, ask for a brand new car. Yes. See, I didn't ask for that $50 million. Praise God. So I had the right to, amen, not to. Amen. Accept it. Praise God. I didn't ask for a brand new BMW. Amen. I had the right to accept it. Yes. To not to accept it. Say amen, praise the Lord. But Jesus said, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Amen. And when he does it, the Father is glorified. Yes. Heaven is glorified. God is honored. Amen. Praise God. And we ask him in the name of Jesus. Say amen. And I know sometimes people talk in the front, the Lord, son, 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 in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, of the Holy Ghost. You could be dead time to get through saying all those good things. All you got to do is say in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say amen. Praise God. Because amen, praise God. Amen. Jesus fixed it so you don't have to say that now. Just say, he says, in my name. He didn't say in my names with an S. But in A M E, that's one. In Jesus' name. He said, what's the you ask? I will do it. Say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. So therefore, as these people came around, Peter took this opportunity. Now everybody stirred up. Everybody's fired up. Because a lame man is no longer laid at the gate. He's up walking. He's up leaping. He's up praising, giving God glory. Praise God. I wonder how much prayer did they have when he walked in the church. Oh, Everybody stopped praying. Everybody else started going by God. Because taking up those people that were already there in prayer, they had to bypass him as they came into and in this temple. They saw him sitting there. But look at what. You know how people are. Yes. That's him. Yeah, that's him. Understand? Yeah, that's him. Right? They realized that when they started praising God, but then the people in the in the, in the neighborhood came up, and they, you know, they look, they want, they were really want really church folks, cause do they look in church? Amen. But amen. But they came up around, and they were gathered around, and they wanted to give Peter the glory. They wanted to give him the honor. 
But Peter took another opportunity. And you got to take every opportunity that you have. And he began to preach the word of God to these people. Praise God. Amen. And begin to tell them about Jesus. Can you say amen? amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And amen. The word of God says, amen. Praise God. That he preached to them. But I can't read all this to you. Praise God. You have to read it at some other time. Praise the Lord. Amen. But then, praise God. Amen. His main motive was, praise God, to lead them to Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And he, amen, began to tell them to repent. Amen. Praise God. Amen. To repent. Praise God. Amen. And when you go out, praise God, when you go out to witness, amen, when you leave out of your house, wherever you go, if you're going to the grocery store, be prepared. You might have an opportunity to tell somebody about Jesus. Amen. When you leave, you go to work. Praise God. How many times, praise God, have you witnessed when you're going to work? Amen. I was at a certain hairdresser. It's been about three years ago. And I'm sitting in the chair. 